in earlier sessions we have talked about that uh, leadership uh, and uh, team building members uh, attitude and uh, how the leaders are to be effective. Now, very uh, less work has been done on this that is uh, on the side of the followers that is exactly uh, what is the uh, uh, main important factor which is affecting the followers uh, uh, reason to follow the leaders. Uh, and therefore, in that case uh, uh, in this context this particular important session has been introduced that is the uh, fostering the followers uh, satisfaction is done right. So, first uh, we will try to understand that is what is the follower satisfaction then the how the satisfaction is link among the leaders and the performance is there. Then we will talk about the what followers want to get uh, satisfied personal traits followers look for in their leader and the theories of follower satisfaction that is the affectivity Herzberg's two factor theory and organizational justice. Uh, then we will talk about the global facet and the life satisfaction uh, outcome of satisfaction of followers uh, and as usual the research paper case study and the book recommendations. So, we will also suggest certain references, uh, references for this particular study material and also for the additional readings. So, whenever we are talking about uh, that follower satisfaction the goal of many leaders is to get the uh, to think more highly of the leader is there right. Uh, so, therefore, in that case it is the influence because we understand the definition of these uh, leadership that is the influence the behavior of others. Whenever we are talking about the influence the behavior of others uh, then uh, uh, definitely more and more people uh, they are getting influence. And when they are getting influence means they are thinking, thinking more highly of the leader is there. So, therefore, the goal of a great leader is to help people to think more highly of themselves. So, here uh, uh, that is a thought process no? you see that is the, the, the way the follower thinks it is igniting the brain right. And therefore, in that case it is the if people they more think of uh, highly of themselves they identify their self uh, awareness about uh, their potential, they get uh, the knowledge about that uh, about their career goals, uh, they know about what they can do, what uh, is the uh, future uh, career planning and related to all. So, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, the igniting the brain to know oneself uh, highly of themselves then definitely in that case that will be the goal of a leader is there. So, in uh, ancient uh, Indian literature literature also we find that it has been mentioned that is the know yourself that is who are you, what are you, why you are born, what is uh, uh, your contribution to this world right. And therefore, that leader they, he is uh, uh, helping helping in the exploring exploring oneself uh, by thinking more and more about the themselves is there. So, whenever we are talking about the follower satisfaction it is necessary to first we understand that what is the satisfaction is there. So, it is a good feeling that we have when you have achieved something or when something you wanted to happen does happen. Now, whenever we talk about the satisfaction, so satisfaction is the feeling, it is a feeling uh, and that feeling arises uh, for on any achievement of the individual. So, uh, whatever the one targets to achieve and when uh, he is uh, able to achieve that particular target uh, then definitely he will be um, uh, having that particular satisfaction uh, that is the I did it right. So, therefore, in that case uh, it might be possible that is the uh, it is not of his own performance, but he wish that is the that is there will be the cert certain thing uh, which will be uh, to be happen and that happens. So, his uh, uh, wishes will be having that particular uh, occurrence of that uh, these uh, happenings and as a result of which uh, that is the it is the what this uh, the person is uh, expecting to gain and uh, out of that again he is deriving the satisfaction. Second is it is the when we are connecting the satisfaction with the follower. So, employees are happy to content with their leaders and work environment is concerned. Now, here um, normally uh, what is the concerns of these uh, employees? Uh, here whenever we are talking about the follower we are talking in the context of the organization and that is why we are using here word is that is the employees are there. So, therefore, that uh, uh, leader empl uh, followers relationship that is the um, basically the employer employee relationship or the superior subordinate relationship is there and in this context so when we talk so what will be the factors and the, the first and foremost is the uh, leader 
there is a way that uh, follower is getting the satisfaction from the leader and that leader is giving this particular satisfaction on the basis of that is what is the knowledge or gain is there. Second one is that is a work environment. So, what is the work environment is there? Now, we talk about uh, freedom, flexibility, autonomy and uh, if uh, delegation, empowerment. So, all, all these are the mechanisms. So, when we in the work environment uh, this type of uh, the opportunities are available to the follower then definitely in that case there will be the follower satisfaction. So, uh, some, uh, some of the researchers have shown that the satisfied workers are more likely to continue working for an organization is there. Now, here I would like to also mention that is the satisfaction we are talking about the self satisfaction and the job satisfaction both. So, therefore, when we, we are talking about that is the satisfied workers. Uh, so, as soon as we connect uh, the satisfaction with the worker or employees then it is related to the job is there. So, whatever the uh, uh, job an individual is doing then definitely in that case uh, he is having that particular uh, uh, the uh, satisfaction of contribution to the organization is there right. So, this is engaged in organizational citizenship behavior is there OCB and uh, we have talked about earlier also about the OCB that is about the rights and duties. What is a citizen? Citizen who follows the constitution and uh, normally we talk in the context of the nation who follows the, uh, the constitution of the nation, uh, but when we talk about in the context of the organization organization then it, it is the that is following the citizenship of the organization is there. There will be the dissatisfied workers that is in their relationship with the leadership is there and many times this is a uh, can diverse sorts of this uh, uh, counterproductive behavior will be there when there is a mismatch uh, between the uh, leadership style of the leader and the followers is there. As dissatisfaction is a key reason why people leave organizations right that is the um, uh, highly uh, uh, impressive uh, factor uh, to leave the organization and that is about the dissatisfaction of the worker of himself uh, from the job itself is there and that is why why we, we keep on talking about that is the uh, whenever you want uh, to create your knowledge based organization it is very much important that is your followers are having that particular satisfaction is there. However, uh, as I was uh, mentioning about that is in the follower satisfaction uh, the, here we will talk about that is uh, why the people uh, that uh, because of this dissatisfaction they leave the organization. Now, uh, every employee who contributes right, so there are the stars employees are there those who perform the best and then there is limited recognition and the praise is there the opportunities. So, whenever the uh, the employees they feel that is the, there is a lack of opportunity for the growth and then in that case uh, they start uh, searching the uh, other organizations. Then there will be the compen compensation will be there that is about the, uh, the, uh, whatever the rewards perks they are getting from the organization whether they are satisfactory or not. Now, here in this case we have to also see uh, that is the uh, whenever we are talking about the compensation, compensation can be monetary or non-monetary both. Uh, is there. Uh, then the as I was mentioning about the empowerment, delegation, use of authority, but whenever there will be the limited authority then definitely the people will like to leave the organization is there. Then the poor organizational culture and that influence the, uh, the performance of the employee. And when the uh, any the star performer when he finds it is because of organizational culture he is not able to deliver then in that case he will leave the organization is there or the nature of work is the repetitive work is there. Now, here why do people this state the employee retention strategies are there. So, therefore, long term employment is there exciting work and challenges are there fair pay is there encourages fun collegial relationships and the supportive management is there. Now, in both the columns you will find it is it is not necessary that is the employee is uh, having the all the reasons there might be the some of the reasons is there. Like when we talk about uh, that is why do they stay and the long term uh, employment is there not necessarily nowadays in the young generation that may be the reason of their satisfaction is there to learn long stay is there, but for some of them yes it definitely. So, therefore, why the person stay or why the person leave the organization it depends on the individual's priority is there and accordingly he will decide to continue or not to continue in the organization. 
whenever we are talking about satisfaction as link among the leadership and performance is concerned. So, naturally leaders behavior proper use of motivation techniques are there. Um, always we talk about monetary uh, motivation, uh, non monetary motivation is there and uh, in, in the case uh, uh, that is the whether we are providing that culture, opportunities, rewards, incentives or uh, there will be the, uh, the monetary benefits related to the perks, uh, related to the uh, different uh, facilities then that, that will be the motivation techniques uh, which will be making that uh, followers to perform. And now, the, when the follower is performing, then customer satisfaction and loyalty will be also increasing and as a result of which there will be the team performance. However, when we talk about the follower job satisfaction is concerned, uh, then in that case there is the he is able to match his personality with the organization citizenship is there. Followers retaliation is there, then in that case when the job uh, satisfaction is uh, not there, then there might be the retaliation or the follower turnover will be there. So, that followers job dissatisfaction they may, may cause um, that is the uh, how he will be able to perform whether in, in the favor of uh, the organization or against, against the organization is concerned uh, next, uh, and these are the indicators. Whenever we find that is the employees uh, uh, leaving uh, turnover is uh, increasing, maybe related to a specific department, section or with a particular boss, then definitely in that case that will be the indicator, indicator of the job dissatisfaction and therefore the organization should take care of this. So, there is a purpose of discussing this uh, issue is that that is not only we have to see that is the what is a uh, factor of satisfaction, but we have to also be careful that is if the employee is dissatisfied and especially those who are the stars performers, then in that case definitely the organization has to face a lot of problems. Now, uh, what followers want to get satisfied, variety in work, task significance, autonomy, role specificity, work time flexibility, reward, recognition, career growth is there. Now, these are the normal, these are the normal job characteristics are there uh, where the individual wants to get the satisfaction is there. But the, with the period of time, you will find that is the now the organizations are more towards the service organizations and when we are talking about the service organization, this group and organizational characteristics they are increasing. They, now, the activities are not only the individual based activities, uh, whether you take the hospital or you take the hotels, you take the IT industries and therefore, the most uh, even in the manufacturing now uh, that is uh, because of the change into the your uh, manufacturing process and system, it is becoming more and more toward the group characteristics are there. So, whenever we are talking about the group and organizational characteristics, uh, uh, that environment uh, is very important. For example, participatory involvement, group integration and cohesiveness, organization climate and structure is concerned, communication practices are concerned and other side is that is the what are the leaders characteristics are re, uh, required. Now, here uh, this relationship leader rewards behavior in the previous slide we have seen that is the one of the major reasons for the satisfaction is that is the motivational techniques are there. So, what is the reward and that matching of the leader uh, member uh, uh, reward behavior that that is very much uh, important or now the leader punishment behavior is there. Now, we know the punishment uh, theory or through the reinforcement of behavior. Whenever we are talking about the reinforcement of behavior, it is important and that is the whether uh, uh, it is appropriate or not and therefore, that is the justice, uh, justice of equity and uh, in that case whatever type of the misconduct is done by the uh, follower and then whatever the punishment is given and uh, that, uh, that has to be the appropriateness. If there is an appropriateness then definitely in we will say it, it, it is following the principle of natural justice is there. Now, personal traits follower uh, uh, look for in their leader is the fairness and honesty is there and be fair and honest with the all, all followers and therefore, in this case uh, as I was talking about that, that is the uh, that reinforcement of behavior. So, whatever you do, whatever the rewards you share, then accordingly the performance of these uh, your follower and uh, therefore, in that case uh, uh, man, man, many times uh, uh, the leader um, he is having the uh, non verifiable goals and whenever there are the non verifiable goals, then remaining to be the fairness and honest uh, that will be a challenge for a leader is there. Now, then the respect and trust is there that is a uh, uh, very uh, uh, the uh, evergreen uh, trait which has been uh, the the, uh, the follower look for in their leaders. Mm, the dependability is there. Now, naturally why the follower is following the leader because he is dependent on certain dimensions and those dimensions to be taken care by the leaders. Uh, he should be have that particular um, fulfillment of those uh, uh, dimensions. Then the collaboration it is team building is there and therefore, in that case the working together 
uh, that therefore, that contribute ideas and solutions, generation more solutions, uh, brainstorming sessions, all these will be creating the more collaborative approach is there. Genuineness is there, that is uh, when we talk about the fairness and honest uh, and uh, therefore, with their bosses that were their families, they do not want a phony. So, employees sometimes spend more time with their boss than with uh, their families, right. So, therefore, in, in that case, uh, it is very important that is the, they are getting the influence by the leader. Appreciation is there, uh, which we have talked about that is uh, always it is better that we are having these uh, 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 the uh, appropriateness right and therefore in that case that that is appreciation is there so just we learn that is the uh, thank you and sorry so therefore in that case when we talk about the appreciation and the the way you say the thank you and that itself will be given a satisfaction to the follower here a lot of uh, theoretical work has been done. So, I will share with you the, the theories of the satisfaction that is Maslow's hierarchy of needs, achievement orientation, goal setting theory and empowerment uh, and the operant approach is there. These are the some of the theories already we have discussed into the leadership and motivation and uh, here I would like to talk about that is the um, effectivity is there, that is uh, hiring happier people. Now, now, you see it is a very interesting point and uh, really I would like to highlight this point that is the uh, Whenever we are talking about the hiring the followers, right, the employees, and so I will suggest that is identify their happiness index. And I tell you that is the this is a very very uh, important factor at the time of the recruitment is concerned. Your employees are not happy. They are forcefully now many times you find it is the employees uh, selecting a job not because of his choice because that is the only way of his bread and butter and then in that case uh, that will not be a happy employee. And when the employee happiness we have talked about the happiness and performance and when there is no happiness is there then there will be no contribution is there. Uh, related to this uh, the husband has also done a lot of uh, work uh, that is his two factor theory and interestingly it is talking about the satisfaction, dissatisfaction and no dissatisfaction that is very interesting. So, whenever we are talking about the no dissatisfaction uh, then in that case uh, what will be the performance of that follower and what will be the level of satisfaction of that follower and then you will find that is the under these theories uh, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, this uh, Herberg's theory or this affectivity theory that is the it is an approach approach of these your uh, uh, that uh, follower right. Now, now you see many people are satisfied uh, uh, with the little gains and many people are dissatisfied uh, uh, with the large gains are there. So, that is an approach is there. So, it is the affectivity refers to one's tendency to react to stimuli. So, as uh, I always give the examples that is the whenever we travel and at the platform we find it is these uh, uh, children coming from the poor families and they are laughing, playing and happy and the child who is sitting into the first AC and then he is not happy. So, basically it is a what, uh, what it means? It means that it is a tendency to react to a stimuli in a consistent uh, emotional manner and therefore, th that approach uh, uh, which uh, is uh, talking about the uh, whether the person will be having the satisfaction or not, this affectivity will be uh, a, a very, very important factor. So, it will be the negative affectivity, unhappiness will be there and therefore, likely to be focused on the downside or disadvantages of a situation, he will never be happy. So, whatever the situation he will get and in that situation he will find certain lacunas and therefore, that is called the FFO, fault finding officers. So, fault finding officers focus on those uh, activities um, we, where the person is weak and therefore, as a result of which the person is uh, uh, demoralized and uh, dissatisfied. But when we are talking about this creation that is what what is to be created at the workplace that is a positive effectivity and the happiness index. So, I, I will always uh, suggest uh, identify those dimensions at your workplace, how your followers will be happy, um, what is uh, their need is there because you see it is a team building is there ultimately in the organization. So, leader and followers unless and until they do not match there will be no output will be there. So, they are required to be the happy and that happiness index creation that is a responsibility of the leader. So, that the these index of the follower satisfaction that will be increasing. Now, I, I will advise uh, uh, that is they always try to identify uh, that is happiness index uh, of your follower and as a result of which you can imagine about the satisfaction index also. 
the people with a positive affective disposition tend to see a cup uh, as a half full people with a negative affective disposition are more likely to describe a glass as, as the half empty is there now here I, I would like to say that the glass which uh, which is the half full uh, and then half uh, filled with the air is there so whenever we say that it is uh, uh, it is not empty it is not an empty glass it is a filled glass is there because there is a water also and there is a air also again this is a question of your approach that is uh, how what approach do you have and accordingly on this basis of that approach uh, whether you uh, how do you look look at a uh, given situation is there and if you if it is a positive is uh, 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 your uh, uh, effectiveness is there then definitely in that case you will be happy with that also however it is a very old say but it is very practical and therefore in that case uh, uh, now now can we have this negative affectivity uh, that is related to the job satisfaction and positive affectivity with the job satisfaction is there now uh, we what is our responsibility our role and responsibility is to convert this ne negative affectivity to the positive affectivity is there and that is a leader's role is there and therefore in that case uh, as we have seen the leadership style leadership theories earlier uh, for building the team effectiveness and those practices if we adopt then definitely we will having the job satisfaction such research suggests that leadership initiatives may have little impact on a person's job satisfaction if her affective disposition is either extremely positive or the negative is there uh, naturally in that case whenever we are talking about uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, initiative by the leader so, how much leader will be influential? A leader will be influential up to the certain extent only because the, the original approach of that particular follower, if it is a negative approach of the follower is there, uh, the leader will not be able to influence much more as far as the affectivity theory is concerned. Now, the, the so similar research was uh, done uh, by the Husbugs and then he has proposed the two factor theory and that is called the hygiene factors theory. The hygiene factors theory that is the absence and presence right. So, high dissatisfaction and no dissatisfaction. So, example is like the salary. So, for the first month the person is motivated with the salary, but the next month it is a repetitive. So, therefore, in that case that presence of that salary will have the no dissatisfaction because if there will be no salary then definitely there will be the high dissatisfaction will be there but giving the salary which is not creating the motivational factor right and that is why then, then, then you see that the, the employees keep on saying that is he deserves that it is his right right and therefore in that case that is not becoming the motivational factor is there uh, so these are the certain examples have been given uh, that is a supervision working conditions co-workers pay policies procedure job security is concerned and uh, motivators are the achievement recognition the work itself responsibility advancement and growth now here you can compare this theory with the maslow's theory also and then you will find in the need theories of achievement we find it is the uh, hygiene factors are basically are concerned with the physiological need safety need and some part of the self esteem needs are concerned but whenever we are talking about these some part of the self esteem and self actualization needs are there and that is becoming the motivator as a factor is there what leader has to do leader has to make a continuous evaluation that is the, the strategies the policies the motivational practices uh, whether they, they they are giving and challenging or not and therefore the challenging task uh, as we have seen in the previous slide that is uh, what followers need the follower needs with the continuous challenging task is there and when you are able to provide that continuous challenging task uh, then they will be successful. So, organizational justice is based on the premises that people who are treated unfairly are less productive are there and the satisfied and committed to their organizations are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, you see that it, it is a mechanism basically. So, organization justice will be done only in the case of uh, when the organizations uh, are uh, uh, heavy treated the unfairly are the less product productive or their debt premises are there. So, here first we will talk about the uh, out of these three justice uh, that is the interactional justice is there to which people are given information about different reward procedures and are treated with the dignity and respect is there. So, definitely in that case it is the interactional justice and people, people are looking forward for their rewards and therefore, uh, it is always it is the goals which you decide they will go they will be uh, going to achieve that particular goal. When distributive justice is there followers perceptions of whether the level of reward or punishment is commensurate with an individual's performance or interact infraction is concerned and therefore, in that case uh, it, it is the always always preferred uh, uh, that is the, the uh, to know 
the perceptions, perceptions uh, of the, the that you follow whether the uh, it is that what level of the perception is there and then accordingly he has to decide. This satisfaction occurs when followers believe someone has received too little or too much reward or punishment. And uh, in this case, we, whenever we are talking about this distributive justice is there, uh, now the it will depend on the leader that many times he may share the too much with someone or it will be the too lesser with the someone is there. That balancing between these uh, the uh, uh, distribution of uh, these rewards, distribution of uh, that uh, empowerment or uh, delegations is concerned and that that has to be normalized and therefore, in that case whenever there is a appropriate and the job satisfaction is there, they will be the having this particular aspects. Organizational justice does fairness matter. Uh, perceptions of the uh, procedural justice involve the process by which rewards and punishments are administered. And if someone is to be punished, followers will be more satisfied if the person being punished uh, has been given adequate warnings. And therefore, in that case, the opportunity to explain his or her actions are there. And uh, if the punishment has been administered in a timely and consistent manner, then definitely in that case, that is a procedural justice, uh, they will creating the solutions to that particular uh, the behavior behavior of the follower is there. And uh, if these all uh, three justice uh, when we talk about uh, uh, distribution to the followers are concerned and it is judiciously done and justice is followed, then definitely in that case uh, we will find it is the follower satisfaction that is become the higher. So, research has shown that these th three different components of organizational justice are related to satisfaction with the leader, organizational citizenship behavior counterproductive work behavior is there in the case if it is not there pay promotion and the job itself is there. Now, when we talk about the motivation process to satisfy followers is concerned and uh, that we have talked about that is the need is concerned that is the need motive behavior is there and whenever there when, when we identify the need this we have talked about in the motivation and leadership also that is uh, how this need is leading to the motive is there and uh, once uh, uh, that uh, motive has been achieved then there will be the behavior will be reflected accordingly uh, as a result of which we will find that is a natural occurrence of employee action reinforcement theory which uh, uh, will be uh, deciding factor uh, for for the uh, the followers satisfaction and uh, the, then again uh, but it, it will be applicable for a period of time as after certain period of time suppose a person person is into a1 category then he goes to the a2 category then again in a2 category this whole process of motivation will change because the a2 category they will the need will change motive will change behavior will be change consequences will be change and satisfaction levels will be changing is there. So, when we talk the, these uh, particular uh, this uh, uh, the job satisfaction uh, concepts are concerned we talk about the global satisfaction, facet satisfaction and the life satisfaction is concerned. So, global satisfaction has the overall degree to which employees are satisfied with their organization and their jobs. So, therefore, definitely in that case it is the totally satisfaction is there I, and the facet satisfaction is the degree to which the employees are satisfied with the different aspects of work uh, means they are the partially uh, somewhere the pay benefits, promotion, policies, working hours and conditions all the, they are satisfied while the people may be relatively satisfied overall, but still dissatisfied with certain aspects of work is there. So, and the life satisfaction is concerned that is the concerns one's attitude about the life in general is there. Ultimately goal what should be the leader's goal whenever we are talking about the satisfaction is there. So, it, it, it has to be the, the life satisfaction and that, that should be the major uh, uh, the consideration by the leader. So, that the employees will be able to perform. Now, here we have to also see that is the people with a longer tenure or in higher positions tend to have a higher global and facet satisfaction than those newer or the lower in organizations are concerned is concerned. So, therefore, ultimately when the sum, when we are making the summary of different variable correlated to job satisfactions are there. So, these are the variables related to a job satisfaction these are the, then then in that case we will find uh, that is the, the this motivation is becoming the positive is concerned and the strength of relationship is that is the, that has been found the moderate is there. So, here we, we, we see the, that there are the different variables um, related to the job satisfaction and then the if the uh, relationship is positive then we can identify the strength of the leadership is there and if it is the, uh, the in the direction of uh, uh, relationship is the negative is there then in the most of the cases uh, it is a moderate or like uh, uh, now you have to also understand that is how the follower perceives and then if he is perceiving uh, that uh, uh, the variable uh, related to job 
have satisfaction uh, which is the negative then definitely that will be having the strong influence on the followers satisfaction. So, uh, the satisfaction and motivation and um, they are significantly correlated uh, because satisfaction with supervision also was significantly correlated with motivation. Managers are advised to consider how their behavior affects the employee satisfaction is concerned. So, managers can potentially enhance employees motivation through various attempts to increase the job satisfaction is concerned. And uh, uh, this satisfaction in organizational citizenship behavior uh, that is the um, you know, what is the OCB? OCB is following the rights and duties are concerned. And and then when there is a satisfaction is there uh, beyond the call of the duty and manager certainly would like employees to exhibit this behavior is there. So, therefore, it is showing the employee engagement also. So, this is a meta analysis covering uh, uh, 6746 uh, 6, people and 28 separate studies revealed a significant and moderately positive correlation is there. So, between the organizational citizenship behavior and the job, uh, job satisfaction is concerned because as we have seen there are the different variables are there and some are carrying the, the positive and some of them are carrying the negative uh, impa impact on their motivational level. Uh, additional research demonstrated that the employee citizenship behavior and were determined more by leadership and characteristics of the work environment than by the employees personal choice are concerned. Uh, these are the uh, certain uh, additional studies uh, uh, for example, here the research paper there is a mindfulness and leadership communication is a behavior correlate of leader mindfulness and its effect on the followers satisfaction is there. I am sure that is the, um, this particular paper will give you the new dimension to thinking about uh, uh, the mindfulness and the leadership relationship is concerned. So, this is about this paper and this will be the findings uh, about this paper and this is the case study kindly refer this particular case study and then you will understand there is how in the practical aspects uh, uh, when we have to un, uh, find, identify that is the what type of this uh, satisfaction um, that um, uh, is uh, required by the follower is concerned. And uh, here you will find that is the what should be the, the parameters which a manager should introduce for the satisfaction uh, and uh, increasing the performance of the employees as concerned. This is the book The Art of Followership uh, and that is how great followers create great leaders and organizations are concerned. Um, this is the uh, different uh, uh, references uh, which you will be able to refer for this particular study and uh, suggested that for your further studies also and uh, you will be getting this uh, 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 all uh, uh, ideas uh, about uh, the follower satisfaction and dimensions uh, which is to be taken care of by the leader. Thank you.